Drugs have always been a bit of a tabooed subject in mainstream comics. After the Comic Code Authority banned all storylines that featured drug or substance use and abuse back in the 50s, it took nearly a decade for their inclusion to resurface. Except as PSAs. These days, that sort of subject matter is easy to find in contemporary graphic novels, but is still pretty sparsely mentioned in the likes of DC and Marvel titles. And it's rare to even see a superhero engaging in such behavior, which is odd considering the tide is turning in politics when it comes to legal marijuana use and possession. So all that being said, we thought it'd be fun to do a list that dives quite a bit into the matter, with some guesses on who could be a speculative stoner with our list of the top 10 superheroes who probably smoke marijuana. And I think some are pretty spot on speculations. And at number 10, Rogue. Rogue has been known to break the rules before. She's a southern belle with an edge and isn't afraid to jump headfirst into danger. And let's not forget that she used to have quite a bit of anxiety over not being able to control her powers. What's one of the medicinal benefits of weed? Well, it eases anxiety. And hint there, Rogue. Not to mention, dating our next number likely isn't the most squeaky clean influence on her character. Speaking of, in at number 9 is Gambit. Gambit's the kind of guy who's probably really pretentious about what strain he smokes and likes to make it in with loose tobacco that he brought over. From France. He also wouldn't be ashamed of hand rolling a joint right in front of his teammates or Charles Xavier himself. He's a bold, bold man. And at number eight, The Thing. I mean, if I looked the way he did, I'd probably need to chill the f out too. Just saying. Up next at seven, Chase Stein. Chase is one of the members of the Runaways, a group of kids who found out that their parents were supervillains, so they ran away. Chase's parents were mad scientists, and he himself is a bit of a rule breaker, aside from also being quite astute when it comes to technology. He's a skilled pilot and mechanic, has energy conjuring gauntlets and boots, and has a telepathic link to a genetically engineered dinosaur. Plus, he frequently brings up using marijuana in conversation. Yeah, pretty spot on. Moving on. Up next at six, Iron Man. Man. But if it's only Robert Downey Jr.'s MCU Iron Man, cause like, come on. Plus, the character does have a history of having an addictive personality. And at number five, Wolverine. Wolverine is no stranger to using and sometimes abusing substances. He's had his fair share of booze and cigarettes in the comics before, and in general, he's not a goody two shoes like some of the other members of the X Men. That's for damn sure. Considering his high vulnerability to substances because of his healing factor, it's likely weed wouldn't affect him that much, unless he's either smoked a lot of it or has a very potent. Strain. His son and Dark Wolverine, Dakin, even used a super drug to get high, a substance that was so powerful enough to negate the healing factor. That being said, if smoking weed was more commonplace in comics, it probably wouldn't be surprised to see Logan lighting up a spliff every now and then. And at number four, The Hulk. If there were ever a superhero who really needed to smoke weed, it's probably The Hulk. Think about it. Assuming Bruce Banner wouldn't massively trip balls and green out, in the narcotic sense that is, weed would do him a lot of good when it comes to handling his angrier side. It's not a totally preposterous suggestion either. Bruce has used alternative tactics in the past to diffuse and chill himself out when he's in his Hulk mode, including one time when he had S.H.I.E.L.D. use a box full of puppies to force him back to his regular state. Puppies and weed, they practically go hand in hand. And at number three, Poison Ivy. Initially a villain, these days since the new 52, Ivy has become a bit more of an anti-hero. And plants are her jam. She wants teamed up then screwed over, Floronic Man, who is literally the weed supervillain. His body is actually made of it after he's decapitated. That's that's a whole cluster f of stuff right there though we won't dive into. The one argument against this is that she likely wouldn't be down with burning plants. That being said, isn't that what edibles are for? Or is that cannibalism in her books? But considering the plants are harvested and then smoked when dry, perhaps she'd be all about that natural remedy anyway. Could definitely see her and Harley smoking a blunt, couldn't you? And at two, Deadpool. Deadpool is no stranger devices. The character pretty much has all the same traits as a stoner does, except without actually being high. Let's analyze this. He likes to mind f he breaks the fourth wall, he's super self aware, has conversations between his internal monologues, which yes did technically end up being madcap, but I mean Deadpool does play along, and his favorite food is chimichangas. On the plus side, he's got an invulnerability to alcohol due to his healing factor, meaning he'd probably have to smoke a lot to get inebriated, if at all. And finally, in our number one spot, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, come on. Insatiable pizza cravings? All super laid back? A love for sinking into the couch and watching TV? Yeah, check, check, check. Plus, they all talk like surfers, and we all know that surfers are the stoners of the sea. So, yeah. All right, there we have it, guys. Who do you think is the secret stoner in the world of comic books? Let us know in those comments below. If you dug this video, please show some love by hitting that like button. And if you're new, why not stick around and subscribe? We've got a ton of other nerdy videos for you to check out, like the ones in our playlist flashing on your screen right now. You know you want to click it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally, and this is Top 10 Nerd. Catch you all in the next one.